Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So today I'm doing a really simple and inexpensive project, just planting some annual flower seeds in containers. So all of these containers I already had, I've used them all in past projects. So you may remember this one in the back. I recently did an update on my spring bulbs that I planted in containers. This one I planted up with spring bulbs and it did not do well. Come to find out the bulbs had rotted uh, because this container did not have good drainage. So I did add some more drainage holes to that container. And this small container in the front, I planted it up in a past video last year with a cordy line, and I just love the way that it looked. I thought it was really fun and it set out by the mailbox. And these two metal bucket containers, I love the way they look. You can hang them, they can sit there. Um, I planted them up a few times last year. The first time was with some marigolds and I love the way that those turned out. And then later on, I planted them up for the fall with some cabbage, kale, some pansies. I really love that project. So I have three packs of annual flower seeds, some petunia, marigold, and zinnia. So the petunia and marigolds, I've already used some of these seeds in a past video, a past project of seed starting indoors, and those seedlings, those plants, are doing really well. Um, they are they put on blooms. Uh, you can check out um, my seedling update and see that if you want. Um, but I wanted to use the rest of these seeds in containers so they don't go to waste. And I have some zinnia seeds here. I have never used these yet. Container variety, so they're a smaller variety. Days to bloom, 35 days. On the back here, you can see you want to plant them at a depth of one fourth of an inch. Um, and you want to plant them after the danger of frost. So after your last frost date here in Kentucky, I'm a zone six. I um, passed my last frost date almost in May, so the perfect time to go ahead and start planting these up in containers. And these packs of seeds, you can see, are you know less than $2 a piece, so a really inexpensive way to get a lot of different flowers and fill up these containers and have a lot of pretty color, and you can set these containers around in a lot of different places, um, or hang them up depending on the type of container. So in this red container here, I wanted to plant the marigolds, and I just love marigolds. 35 days till bloom, they're fast growing, they're fast to germinate, really easy to grow. Um, a lot of times I will buy transplants from the store because they are fairly inexpensive, but it really is easy to grow them. Now you can plant them one fourth of an inch deep and make planting holes with your fingers, but really it's a lot easier just to sprinkle them right on top of the soil here. Now you want to spread them out as evenly as you can um, so you don't get kind of one clump of marigolds uh, in one portion of this container um, so just kind of spread them out get them even and you can always thin them out later so now I just need to cover these seeds with an even layer of potting mix just about one fourth of an inch over the entire top and just use my hand and press lightly, making sure that the soil and the seeds have good contact with one another. And that's it. So all I have to do is plant up the rest of my containers and then I can water them in. Next in this larger container, I want to plant the zinnias. And uh, so these seeds are really good size, pretty easy to work with. I'll show you what they look like in my hand. And they are the same color as the soil, so it'll probably be hard to see um, kind of where they go. So I'm just going to sprinkle them around as even as I can. And once again, um, if they come up really thick, you can always thin them out. Or you can actually transplant a few into other containers if you want. It's just whatever you want to do. So that's all of these. Now just like the other container, I just need to cover these seeds with one fourth of an inch of potting mix. And then just press the soil lightly. And this container is done. So on to the next ones. And these last two containers, I thought it would be fun to plant them with these petunia seeds. Now, these seeds are very small. 
it'll probably be hard to see where they go in the soil so I'll do the best I can and spread them evenly in these containers now there are a lot of seeds in this one packet of seeds so it's a really good value that you get um, for the money um, because I really got um, great germination when I started these indoors and had to thin them out um, a lot so you can thin these out or like I said just transplant a few of the seedlings in other containers um, if you want to so I'm just gonna sprinkle these right on the top now the packet does say to plant them one fourth of an inch deep now I have seen uh, some you know videos on YouTube where it shows um, them just sprinkling them on the soil and then just pressing them in and not covering them with um, soil on top but I covered my seeds with soil when I started them indoors and they germinated just fine I had no issues with them uh, not germinating or um, you know not coming up so um, I'm just gonna go by the packet instructions and cover mine one fourth of an inch deep so my containers are all planted up with their seeds and I just have to water them in. So I just move them out to the grass here and I'm just gonna use my watering can because it is gentle on the soil and the seeds. You would not want to use a really you know, high pressure water hose. If you use a water hose, just use a, a mist setting, uh, just a fine uh, spray. And all of these flowers, they like full sun, so I'm just going to set these containers out here, keep them outside. But if you do have a day that you're going to have a, you know, heavy rain, you would want to give them some type of protection, maybe take them into your garage, um, because until they germinate, you would not want to have a heavy rain on them, disrupting the uh, seeds in the soil. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun way to use some flower seeds so they wouldn't go to waste and a really inexpensive project to get a lot of beautiful flowers, hopefully. And I will share that with you in future updates. So I hope you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on those updates and my future projects. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two and I will see you in the next one. Bye.